Good morning, folks. I'm late and I apologize. NASA has released this visualization to go along with their latest remarks about C-2012 S1 ISON. They're saying their best guess is that the comet's nucleus is around 3 miles wide, making it a relatively typical comet. Of course, all speculation surrounding ISON has been to the contrary. Speculation is moot. We'll have to wait and see. Still no word on my request to NASA regarding visibility of the comet when it smashes through the asteroid belt as Earth is heliocentrically opposed this summer and without any way to monitor it. Speaking of monitoring, here's the tract where it crosses the heavens. Next we'll have the golf temperature map from NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab. The white in the center is the warmer waters uncooled by chillier runoff and tributary effect near the colder coast. Seismically, largest quakes of the year in Easter Island and around the South Pacific Ridge. The largest quake in almost two years for the Canary Islands, and the largest so far this year in Iceland. Shh, Kotla's sleeping. Southwest Australia, taking a break from the record rain month. Counterclockwise southern high, pulling cold and moisture up to Australia while this spinning low greets New Zealand. Europe, still hasn't seen the center of that low. It now spans the Atlantic and does its work at arm's length. Let's look at some of the worst weather watches right now as of 10.30 a.m. Greenwich time. Avalanche warnings in Norway due to high wind, Italy with lots of thunderstorm watches, rain and flooding in Slovenia, and some coastal alerts in Espana. In the United States, the central low and severe weather watch area tonight may see some tornadoes, hail, and lightning. Use my list of sources below this video to keep checking local conditions. If your area isn't white, you have a weather alert. Also on the left, that next low coming across the Pacific has apparently stalled its lateral motion and content to just do the twist out there a while. Cosmic ray monitor shut off? I'm shocked. If you missed my second upload yesterday, an explanation video, Earth appears to have taken a burst of cosmic rays from just southwest of Aquarius. Solar wind speed? The yellow? Rising from slightly elevated to a weak coronal hole stream. And while it is weak, our shields are weaker, taking a total pounding, letting in tons of solar plasma to be absorbed in the ionosphere, directly energizing our atmosphere, major inductions from the baseline with energetic flux readings on the goes, an enduring geomagnetic disturbance that hits storm levels twice, and auroras exploding over high latitude. That continues all day. Looking at the sunspots, top right we have developed umbra but still no magnetic complexity, just like earlier in the week. There may be some complexity to the active region turning in on the north, development and another 24 hours will tell. On the south, we would want to see some more morphing and maybe even some more umbras from these regions, or they could just sit back and wait for baby D to join the party. Yikes, that's cause for a solar flare warning. Gong showing the magnetic field connection between the coronal holes directly facing Earth today. These magnetics are exactly like the fields created between umbras, except these are connecting coronal holes. Dark coronal hole incoming, by the way. We had a little filament erupt off the southeastern limb with an even bigger one behind him. Huge plasma filament up north. I'll leave you with some shots of another sun-diving comet. Eyes open. No fear. It's 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.